What's up, everybody? Mo's here to you today, and um, today's gonna be another emergency fourth tutorial video. And today is gonna be the second part of um, skinning. And um, I know I haven't got it up when I was supposed to, but that's because I've been having problems with YouTube. But um, anyway, don't don't mind this stuff. I'm just working on a Queen's a Queen's mod, so I'm doing the rescue four texture. As you see, it's coming along pretty good. Uh, get the four there, but anyway, I'm gonna be showing you so how to skin. So first off, you're gonna need paint net or something. So I'm gonna provide you the link here. You can actually click that down. So really, you just type in paint net, paint net, and basically you just go here and find one that's free. Um, I forget the one I down. I downloaded this one right here. So this is the one you want to download. So I'll keep, I'll put that in the description. But just download it, install it, and do whatever. So once you get into um, PaintNet, what you want to do is go ahead and go to File, go to File, Open. And so I'm gonna redo this all over. So go to your local disk C or wherever Emergency Four is. Go to your Program Files times 86, and then go down to where Emergency Four. So WizardX now one for spawn is mods click on the mod you're gonna be editing so I'm gonna continue from what I was doing last time which is the Northview Creekside mod so you click on your mod now you wanna go to models vehicles and then wherever you install the folder in so mine is gonna be in here and then the LAPD SUV and there's my skin so this is my skin that I'm gonna be rescanning and I actually have to um, open my recent one so if you already have a skin done it's easier just to open it like see because I have my stuff here so it's easier just to open it and I actually forget where I got that from but anyways it should work so I'm basically gonna keep the same texture because I kept the same texture on here so so what I want to do now is cover all this up because I don't want Los Angeles so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit the rectangle select tool here and then I'm gonna select the space I want to and then hit backspace oh wrong color make sure you have the right color too backspace there we go so now oh shit oh my bad shouldn't be swearing guys shouldn't be swearing I keep I say this a lot when I'm doing this but I'm gonna like I said so I'm gonna hit backspace and that's gonna fill the section you don't need to hit backspace you can always just click on it here and then there's um and then there's the paint bucket, and then you can just, like, I'll show you. See that space? So, so you can do it like that, too. But I just do the quick keys. So, see, this is a quick key. This quick keys here. I use quick keys. So then I don't want to guess either, so I'm going to go ahead and hit backspace again. There we go. Backspace again. And I think I'm going to leave the numbers on top. I will. So I'm going to leave the numbers on top. And now what I want to do is get my design. So you guys can honestly change the colors around to however you want it. And a great tool to use in scanning is the magic wand. Because watch this. It only, see how it only selects a certain area? So, hold on. Let me... It depends on the model, but it will only s select a certain, see how it selects a certain area? That is a great tool to be using in Paint Night, especially while scanning. But I'm not going to be using that today because I don't need to. So now that I have my basic skin done. Well, not done, but where I need it to be. I'm going to go ahead and go to my, over te my other texture. I'm going to go ahead and hit Z here and zoom in. So what I'm going to do here is just copy my Northview Creekside Chev. I want to copy this. You don't want to get all the other stuff in there. You just want the sign so that looks about right to me so I want to copy and then I'm gonna hit paste here so you notice how it's not there so we're gonna go ahead and drag it into place where we want it so you can basically do this wherever you guys want to put it for me I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there well I want to resize it a bit I think I want it like that yeah just like that so then I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to copy. Actually, no, I'm not. Don't scratch that. I'm not because it's different side doors. So then I'm going to go here. Do the same thing I just did. This one's a little bit tricky. 
So honestly, I'm not gonna be worried about that because you'll you're gonna see it. So I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste it. Here we go. Now we're gonna go down here and resize it. You wanna make it kind of similar. So that looks about right to me. You can zoom in on your work, but for this one, I don't need to. Now I'm gonna grab my magic wand after I undo this. Magic wand. And I'm gonna try, I need to try to get this. But for the bottom one, this is gonna be simple because you're just gonna do this. Copy, copy it. And then you're gonna paste it to the right place. Which for me, right there seems about right. So then I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom here. I'm going to zoom out here. Well, for the top, I meant. And same thing here. Just going to go like this. There we go. I'm going to hit copy. And then I'm going to paste it. So now all I need to do is get my get this part, which this part I it's hard is gonna be hard to do because as you see when I do the magic wand thing, it selects the whole vehicle, which I don't want. So I'm gonna try to do this bits and pieces. Some skins you have to do this, some skins you don't. So see how it selects a certain pot and then you can just like fill the selection stuff. So basically, we need the uh, all that pride through service, all that stuff. Now for the Tahoe, I'm not sure if I will put the um things. And the reason why is because the way this texture is it's hard to um the way the original thing that I created for it I I should have kept it because it is hard now to get off of that so that's that's one thing I should have been clear about when you make a design on a vehicle like I did for this one make sure you save it and keep it cuz now as you see here it's gonna be hard for me to get this off I have to do a whole bunch of I don't even know if I'm going to get it off, actually. I don't even know why I'm saying that. But I can get the thing off, and that's the beauty. I can get all this stuff off of it. So for the Tahoe, I'm just going to leave it like that. Because supervisors sometimes do have different skins. So the way I want Northview Creekside to be is like this. So I'm going to keep it without those things. Because I, I don't think the bottom one's going to fit here. So, all right, so we're going to leave it like that. That's fine. Um, I should have been more clear about that before. So, like I said again, I'm going to hit my Z button, and I'm going to zoom in on this. It might look blurry now, but after it, don't worry, it's not going to be blurry at all. So now you want to copy it, and paste it onto your th vehicle. So there we go, we're going to scale it down, put it right where we want it, and there we go. And then we're going to hit copy, and we're going to paste it, and do the same thing over. There we go. So now that our vehicle is almost completed, we're going to go ahead and um, go over here. And we're going to go to our uh, U stuff. But we're going to change it because we don't want it to be U37. The reason why we don't want it to be U37 is because it's a supervisor. So we don't want it to be like that. And where's my pride to service? There it is. So, you know, whoa. Wrong thing here. Wrong thing here. There we go. So now we're gonna put it to um the place we want it. For I do service. Put it right up there. That looks good right there. So you can, you don't have to put it where I'm putting it. You can honestly design your own texture, put it wherever you want it to be. So I like it right there. Usually that stuff is either in the back here or in the front here. But I put instead of putting it there, I put the badge there. And I can change, and you can change the colors. And so, like I was saying, 
to change the color of the vehicle, you just have to do it before you do everything. So, like, do not put all of this on and then change the color. Change the color before you do anything. Trust me. Um, okay, so now, what else do I need to put on here? Oh, supervisor. Okay, so now the text box. So, we're going to hit the rectangle select here. And we're going to put supervisor right on the front here. I mean, you know, we're going to select the spot we want it to be in. And then we're going to hit text. We're going to go here. Make sure the text is in white. I'm going to check this out. Oh, make sure you scale down the size. I usually go about 14 or so. And now we're going to find the right text I used on that. Let's try this. Any caps. Scale it down here. Scale it down a little bit more. You want to scale it down so it's just right. Supervisor, there we go. So then, so then now that we got it, I think I spelled that right. Supervisor, yeah. All right. So now you're gonna hit copy. I think I pasted it, and boom, there's your text on your thing. Same thing in there. All right. So basically, that's all you need to know about skating. That's basically the base. One more thing. If um, if you guys, after. After you've done the texture, make sure you hit File, Save As, and then it should be already in the thing. Save As the texture, whatever its name of. Hit Save. And then it says, do you want to replace it? You hit Yes. Hit OK. Now, some mods do not allow you to do that. So if you go to here, I mean, oh, wrong thing. If you go here, hit Save As, and then you hit Body, and you hit Save, and then you hit Yes, and then it says Access Denied. What you do, simply just move it to your desktop and then drag it into the folder. So say I was to drag, so say this was the texture that I made, okay? So then, and I couldn't do it manually uh, out of paint net. So I'm going to just go to my mods folder, the mod you're replacing, and then go to the vehicle file. And then you simply would just drag it in. That's all you do. And so you place and you say yes. So I think that's gonna do it for today's guy today's video guys. So um if this tutorial helped you, make sure you leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe and until next tutorial, mods guys YouTube.